Here's Marcia Keeley is now joining us with more details from engineering experts regarding today's bridge collapse. Yeah, Evan, we know Dolly was carrying more than 4,500 shipping units on board when it crashed into the bridge. At 984 feet long, it weighs more than 116,000 tons. We asked a civil engineering professor from Penn State if any bridge could have handled that crash. The Francis Scott Key Bridge was completed in 1975, spanning 1 1.6 miles across the Patapsco River. The aging bridge had a structural design not often used today. It was shocking to see the, the bridge collapse, and it is a truss bridge, so that's kind of it's unique in that sense. Not a lot of bridges are trusses these days, um, but I, I'm not sure if other bridges would have been able to withstand that crash. Some experts suggest there should have been barriers around the bridge supports. In a statement to a Baltimore media outlet posted to X, civil engineer R. Shankar Nair said, quote, as a matter of principle, where there is a bridge pier and a shipping channel, we should expect the bridge to be strong enough to withstand impact or to be protected from impact. A lot of the bridges in the United States are at least 50 years old, so these bridges are aging. So there is an issue with the budget not being sufficient to be able to maintain all the bridges at the level that they should be. Engineering experts suggest the next steps to repair or replace the key bridge could prove costly and difficult. I think it would be a significant turnaround time and impacts on the transportation system, local economy. You know, there's a lot of issues with how the, the collapse of this bridge will impact general transportation um, and just kind of how the city will deal with that, I think, is going to be a challenge for them. Now, coming up tonight at 10, I'll break down everything we know about the ship that hit the bridge and share the video of another incident that ship endured from 2016. Marshall Keeley, Fox 43 News.